And so this video begins along Highway 411, leaving Georgia, heading into Tennessee. Hurricane Nicole has followed us all the way from Florida. This is it right here. Sea Rock City. Oh, I've always wanted to see Rock City. Not too far from here. This weekend, we're headed to the Smokies. Good old Smoky Mountain weekend with family. Check out this big truck coming. Woo! Ah, got a little wet there. Sign right here along 411 says Pathway to the Smokies. That's where we're going. And Atoa, Tennessee is celebrating Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day, everyone. The rains will not stop coming. This is gonna be the whole entire weekend. Happy Veterans Day to all those veterans out there. Check out all these flags right here before this park. There's a monument. And I believe this is the uh, historic Atoa, Tennessee courthouse. The thing is old. Wow. Also, oh no, it's a railway station. Yeah, there's trains here. There's trains. Well, I'll be. Look at that. Cousin Jake, Tulock Lane, and Tennessee Avenue right here in Etowah. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's E-T-O-W-A-H. And if I had to guess, because of the region we are in, that's an old Cherokee word. All right. Back on to 411, a.k.a. Tennessee Lane. Does that say Bob Seger? Detroit's Bob Seger Tribute Band. Saturday, November 12th. Well, we'll have to come back. Maybe. Right here, down on Main Street. Holiday Terrace Motel. If you have AAA, you might be able to get a discount. I love these old-timey Americana neon roadside motels especially the ones with the signs check it out here looks like they have plenty of vacancy plenty of vacancy this is not where we're staying this weekend though it is not i like the doors though it's yeah the cool. doors are the, very 1960s detailing on there, yeah. check it out ladies and gentlemen old school a and w root beer drive-in i haven't seen one of these since I was a kid. Greenfield, Indiana was the last time I had A&W as far as drive-in. They had one in Old Town back in Kissimmee. Chris the girl and I know that one very well. And look at this, I wish we were hungry. Yeah, I used to come to your car uh, with roller skates. Where are we, Krista girl? We're just outside of Madisonville. Madisonville, Tennessee. Old school A&W. What's that sign say? Great Smoky Mountains National Park, 10 miles ahead. Oh man, my eyes are bad. I left my bifocals back in Tampa. And behold, the Smoky Mountains are very smoky right now. Dang you, Ronnie Millsap. And here we are, Townsend. Bear right. I see what they did there. Welcome to the Dancing Bean Coffee House. We have stopped. We are now on foot. I like this display of pumpkins. Yeah. Like a tree. Got the Tennessee flag. You got the American flag, old glory flying on Veterans Day. And the Tennessee volunteers back there in Knoxville. We didn't go through Knoxville though. We came up the 411. And we thought we'd stop here begin the video finally do an intro the dancing bean coffee house right next door is the smoky mountain outdoor center all kinds of things to do here apple valley cafe they have burgers they have all kinds of souvenirs it smells great and the rain is just following us from florida welcome back to the channel chris the girl Guess what we're doing this weekend? Well, we know what we're doing. Guess what? Guess what we're doing this weekend? We're gonna see my folks. Yeah, we're spending time with Chris's parents. They are camped out here in uh, Townsend, Tennessee, Caves Cove, Cates Cove. And we thought we'd come up here and spend some time with them. 
And I'm firing up the camera and documenting our experience today, a day of uh, rainy travel up from Florida. Actually, we got a hotel last night in uh, mid-Georgia near Macon, and we thought we'd get a head start. We almost didn't make it out because of Hurricane Nicole, which has followed us yep. up here. Check it yep. out. Very the, rainy. The smokier mountains are a bit smoky and rainy this weekend, but it's not going to stop our fun. There are really no plans. Uh, we did kind of alter our plans. Originally, we were supposed to do something else today uh, over kind of in the North Carolina area, but because um, roads are closed in the Smokies due to the storm, we decided to come up and start our family weekend here in Townsend. And here we are in this classic, iconic uh, little roadside town just south of Gatlinburg. And uh, that's it. Yep. Anything you want to add? I'm just excited to see my parents Me and it's too. nice to be in this part of the country again even though it continually rains every, every time. single time. We're together in the Smokies. But nonetheless, it we rains. are here and I'm excited to be here. So That's important. I'm ready to go and get some coffee. Yeah, me too. There's much ahead, yeah. Dancing bean, I need some coffee, sweet thing, and I need to potty. Sorry, TMI, but I got to. They have night, I know it's cold, isn't it? They have nitro, kombucha, and free Wi-Fi. And also they have a restroom that aliens and Bigfoot can use. Also, can join twins. And these candles inside the coffee shop, they smell very good. Trails of the peaceful side of the Smokies. Just to put things into perspective, we are here in Townsend, just above Cades Cove, right here. Gatlinburg, right up there. Chris and I went through Gatlinburg back in late uh, May, actually, around Mother's Day. See what that says? Uh-huh. Hauntingly good coffee. Let's see, you wanna try it? Cheers. What did you get? I got a toasted marshmallow latte. All right, I just got the good old coffee. Good, huh? Mm. Today, 11, 11, two, two. Tampa J. Chris, the girl. That's it, that's all right. And I think the forecast for the entire weekend is rain, rain, rain. At least today and probably a bit tomorrow. Yeah, a little bit tomorrow. Oh no, jack-o'-lantern down. Hello, my Halloween friend. I see, I see you're just wasting away here on the corner. There's another one here too. The pumpkins are still out because it's technically still harvest season, Thanksgiving, right around the corner. We've got some gourds as well. And speaking of gorgeous, gourd, gourd, gorgeous, gourd, I tried, I tried. Oh, you're gonna say, speaking of warts. Warts? <laughs> Ew, yep, that pumpkin's got warts. What you doing there, hen? Trying to bury your eggs or perhaps just find them? Would you like some coffee? She's looking for worms, maybe. Yeah, oh, I think they're looking for food, yeah. Oh, look at them go. Good luck out there. Good luck. We went back inside of the Dancing Bean Coffee for a smoothie. For my mom. That's for your mom. We uh, sent her a photo of the menu before we went in there, but it didn't send because there's like no signal. Yeah. And then when we got back, we finally, uh, it finally went out. And then we got the message to get the hat. Get the smoothie. So there you go, Kathy. Goods, Mom. We're about ready to go see your parents. Mm -hmm. It's been since January since, since you've yeah, seen them. Since we went to Arizona, if you all remember those videos. Yeah, that seems like a long ago, but not not so. But that's yep. a long time. Almost a year. Almost a year ago. Also, inside the uh, smoky uh, dancing bean coffee, smoky dancing bean coffee. It was like a travel center and got some information on the Smoky Mountains. Got some pamphlets. Pamphlets, uh, right around the corner, the Smoky Mountain Heritage Center. Maybe we'll check that out this weekend since it's like right here right in town. Right yeah. yeah. One thing I love about the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area, lots of food, yeah. lots of comfort food. Look at that local goat. There, a bear, look at this. Hay bale bears. Whoa, a little off-road here. Watch out. Whoa, need a 4x4. Tennessee. Wee-haw. 
Check it out. Please do not climb on displays. A couple straw bales. Well, more than a couple. A few. You got a little bear there. Big bear there. And what is that? A scarecrow? Yeah, scarecrow. All right. Cool display. What kind of eyes does that bear have, Chris? It's got the devil's eyes. It's got the devil's eyes. The Tennessee devil's eyes. Also, same property as those hay bale bears. Creepy house or establishment. Ooh, it's abandoned. Looks like Tuckalichi Village is what this used to be called. Cabins on river, screen, porches, AC pool, uh, AC pool cable TV fishing. They got it all here. All the amenities you need, you happy campers. It just looks creepy to me. There's a toilet right there. Right there There's yeah. a toilet. Oh, well, thankfully, I went to the bathroom back there. Yeah, we already used Yeah. It, so. And goaty, goaty, goat goats. Okay, check it out. So, the past few hours, been catching up with Chris's parents on their campground site out here. There's a little farm. And we've got sheep right here. And I believe some goats out there. These might be, uh, yeah, I think they're all sheep actually. Such a beautiful campground. And also, the rain has finally stopped. It sure has. Bah. Bah. Graze in the pasture. Look at all this sheep out there. There's quite a few and way off to the left out there. I think those are cattle. I think those are cows. I can't tell. Too far away. And a river. Just across the driveway here. Old tractor. And a barn. Look at all the leaves that have fallen. Bah! Bah! And that's a really old barn. Stuff full of hay. This is right here before the farm, here at this campground. All right, gonna head back. It's almost supper time. I just wanna thank everyone who watched my last video up in Indiana last week. So many awesome comments. And I just want to let you all know, I read every single one of them. I tried to get back to every single one of them. And I believe I've almost done that. Uh, it will take me some time, but a little update uh, to my last video. Thanks so much for the support and thank you all. Um, you guys really, really, uh, rocked my world as far as you know just being so kind to me and so supportive after that last video So I a little update. There you go. Thank you so much everyone. The rain is finally gone It literally rained all day and night yesterday. This is the first time I Have not had rain droplets fall on me and over phew, I'm gonna say about 36 hours. Hey y'all What's going on? Bah. All right, looks like it's feeding time. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you. Hello. Hi. I, I wish I had something for you. Uh-oh. Oh, oh he well, hello there. You're not a sheep. Got a friend down here getting some water. Bah. I know, this, this is my friend right here. He's been speaking ever since I got out here. He's been yelling at me. I don't know what I did. Maybe it's what I didn't do. I don't have any food for you, feller. See, they don't care, walking off. Walking off. God, it feels great out here. So good. All right, gotta get back for supper. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. We spent a good amount of time with your parents tonight. Yep. And we gotta check into the hotel. Did you see that Bigfoot there? I did, yeah. Bigfoot! He's just standing there. He's just standing there, we found him. Also, we couldn't see you because it, it's dark. Yeah, it is really dark. It's a dark it's campground. Dark. Ooh, hold on. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Little River Railroad and Lumber Company Museum. Free admission right here in Townsend. Closed right now because it's dark, but check it out. It's just right here along the road, and there's a train with its light on right there before the Little River Railroad water tower. 
Railroad water tank. This is a water tank that provided water for the community of Welland. It has been restored to resemble a typical water tower used by railroads during the steam age. And right here, an old steam tractor. Let's see what this sign says. Portable steam engine. Portable steam engines such as this were used in the backwoods to power portable sawmills. Although the Little River Lumber Company never owned one of these, Many of the contractors during the early days of logging use them. Very cool to see these. I remember seeing hundreds of these when I was a little kid. My grandfather used to take me down to Rushville in Indiana and there was a steam engine, antique steam engine show and there would be hundreds of these every year out there at the Rushville fairgrounds just fired up doing their thing. I remember seeing ones just like this one out there years ago. It's so dark up here came to check out the engine up here on top of the steps you can't really see there you go the giant boiler the boiler you think this thing will do 90 miles per hour 2147 locomotive and machine 1909 wow that's an old one look at the rain coming down in the light and obviously we can't go inside, it's dark and the museum is closed. Um, just wanted to check this out here at night. It's very quiet out here. The train track running through this living history museum, really. Of course the girl back in the car. We're heading to the hotel, got to check into the hotel that we're staying at next couple of nights. Tomorrow, we're heading out. We're going to have fun with Chris's parents. We're going to you know, do the Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge thing. I'm gonna see some other things. And yep, we will both be making videos. And here we are. Here we are. In the hotel for the next couple days or so. Two days, yeah. There we go, this is nice, this is all we need. It's really, well, it's more than we need, it's a huge. We got two beds. Yeah, we got two beds, a lot of space. So much room for activities. Activities, here we go. No hat, no hat Jay, look at this. This doesn't happen every vlog. It happens sometimes though. Mm -hmm. If you stick around towards the end. That's right. Speaking of that, I think it's the end. I think it is. We can't do anything else today. Nope, it's late. Tomorrow though, we're gonna do. We're gonna jam pack it with all the things. So tomorrow. much more. Yeah. Yes. If you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed my hat hair, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Come back and watch again sometime. Today, very unique experience. You got to see us come up, escape a hurricane, vlog our journey through Tennessee, and everything outside of us spending quality time with her folks, which mm -hmm. I really uh, enjoyed. Bob, Kathy, it was so fun catching up with you guys, and of course, you know, you got to see your parents. Mm -hmm. We spent That's most special. of the day, evening, hours and hours and hours just sitting in the RV and talking. Bob made us food, breakfast burritos. We got breakfast burritos. And, Those were good. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Um, so that was, and that's like the whole point. Of, that was the whole point of today. Of the trip and, and whatnot is to spend quality time with my, with my parents and whatnot. And I'm glad we could somehow document it vicariously to bring these fellows along. Mm -hmm. These folks, fellows. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed it. So, all right, that's it. Tomorrow we're going to be doing more, though. We're going to be going, mm -hmm. like, we'll see. You'll all see. the activities. You'll see when we get there. There's going to be another video on this channel and her channel. I appreciate everyone always watching, joining in. And here we are in Tennessee. All right. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and know... No matter who you are, what you're going through. There's much ahead. So much ahead. So much hat hair. Where's my hat? Yep. I don't know. Did we check that closet? What? This one? Yeah. For dead bodies? Yeah, we always check for dead bodies. You want me to check it or you want to check it? I got it. Okay. Oh no. Shoot. There's nothing in there. Man, I hate when there's not dead bodies. Someone's not getting a tip. Nope. What is the housekeeping doing in here? I don't know. There's another big cabinet. What's in that one? It's a refrigerator and oh, a microwave. Man. Come on. Severed head in here? 
Nothing? Nothing. What the actual heck? Man, I miss haunt season. <sighs> what about the microwave? Nope. Hmm. Drawers. Nothing. 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 They must be keeping them, I don't know, under the beds or... There's usually a drawer here and it has a book in it. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing there. Okay. We better get to bed. Yeah. We got a long day tomorrow. We'll just have to fill the hotel with dead bodies or something. I guess so.